The number of units of its product that Company X is scheduled to produce in the month T of its next fiscal year is given by this formula, where C is a constant and T, the, the month number, is a positive integer between 1 and 6. What is the number of units of its product the company is scheduled to produce in month number 6 of the next fiscal year? So notice that we're being asked when T equals 6, what is n? And if we know t, the only other thing we'd need to know is c. If we could figure out c, then we would be able to predict n. So, statement number one tells us in month number one, when t equals one, in month number one, the company is scheduled to produce 180 units. So, n equals 180. Well, if we know that 180 equals 90 over 1 plus c times 2 to the negative 1, well, that would allow us to solve for c. So please, for God's sake, don't actually do the math to solve for c. This is data sufficiently. All we have to do is just know that we could solve for c. If we could solve for c, then we'd be able to answer the question. So this statement is sufficient. So forget about that. Statement number two, all by itself, tells us that in month number two, t equals two, the company is scheduled to produce 300 units of the product, so n equals 300. Well, again, we can plug these into the equation. 300 equals 900 plus over 1 plus c times 2 to the negative 2. And again, we could solve for c. No need to actually do so, but we could solve for c. Therefore, we could answer the question. Therefore, this statement is also sufficient. Both statements are sufficient. Answer choice D.